educate the girls and to develop the nation, education is very important. As important to boys, it is comparatively important to the girls. So, educate the girls. Myself and Sekhar Saran of Mount Detaji School Bar and I am very grateful to be in the Lita Sakti campaign and have participated in this campaign because I am a girl. It's a simple answer. I am a girl because when the matter comes to inspire and motivate the girls, so a girl should always do this. That's why I have taken part in this. Now I will ask you five questions on the topic Kishori Sakti Yojana. So my first question to you all is when was Kishori Sakti Yojana launched? So the answer is it was launched on 31st August in the year 2007. My second question is who initiated the Kishori Sakti Yojana? Answer is Ministry of Women and Child Development in India initiated the Kishori Sakti Yojana. Third question is who implemented the Kishori Sakti Yojana? Answer is Government of Odisha implemented the Kishori Sakti Yojana. Now my fourth question to you all is this program was made by the Government of Odisha for juvenile girls up to which ages? Answer is Integrated Child Development Services ICDS was made by the Government of Odisha for juvenile girls up to 11 to 18 ages. Now my last question to you all is what is the goal of this scheme? The goal of this scheme is to empower adolescent girls to motivate them to be self-reliant and to be a responsible citizen. Now my one more question to you all but the answer should be given by you all that are you supporting girls in making their bright future and in their studies? If yes then it's very nice. If no then do it because they need their family members and the society support both the support they need so please support them our school have also done something for the girl child our school have given rebate for fees on the single girl child now i have bring a more question that are you updating your mobile applications i am right here i am right i know that you all are updating when the time needed then why don't you forgot to update your thinking? I mean that many people are also now thinking that girls are weaker than boys and they are not equal. But we know that it absolutely wrong. Both are equal and both can achieve their achievement. Both can do anything. So please educate and support the girls. Thank you. Have a nice day. Jai Hind, Jai Bhai. To change the world, educate the girls. Hello everyone, I am Tara from our Yudrazi School Bar and we lecturers have organized Litro Shakti campaign. First of all, I am very thankful that I have been given this opportunity to promote this campaign. So what is the main purpose of Litro Shakti campaign? The main purpose of Litro Shakti campaign is to tell the people importance of upliftment of girl child in society. But it's not only me, even the government of India and many educational institutions are trying for the equality of education for girls since years. And for one of them is Uran Scheme of CBSC. Uran Scheme of CBSC was launched by CBSC under the guidance of Ministry of Human Resource Development, our government of India, to address the low enrollment of girls students in the prestigious engineering institutions and the teaching gap between school education and the engineering entrance exams. The objective is to provide a platform that empowers the girl students to facilitate their aspiration of joining the prestigious engineering institutions and to take important role in the development of country in future. Even our school is uh, providing some benefits and discounts for the girl child for so that they can attain their education properly. Lastly, I would like to ask you one question that are you giving a girl child an opportunity to shine bright? If no, then do it because girls are as capable as boys to make you feel proud. Thank you. Started by our school to promote the girls' education, and I am also.
also ready to promote the girls' education. Do you know why? Because I was a girl and I want that every girl should be get literate. And for this, our government have provided many of the schemes. And one of the best schemes is Beti Bajam and Beti Bajam. In this scheme, the main goal is to prevent selective gender based on the abortion and ensure the girls' schooling and participation and to secure them in a secure environment and healthy environment. And the benefits are that parents can save amount at the minimum amount till start with till it will start till up to 40 years and you can start your account with 1,000 and the deposit will become 1 lakh 50,000. And for promotion of the girl's child, our school have done many of the things. First, they have made the campaign to, prom to promote the girl's education. And they are not taking fees for girls. They are free fees for the girls. So, I want that you can understand my feelings, what I want to say. I want to say that please send your child to school. If you are not sending your girl child to school, please Hello everyone, I heartily welcome you all to my video. Myself Rocky from Mount Litra G School Bar is standing here to just enroll myself in a special campaign called Litra Shakti, which is organized by MLJNS. So let me introduce to this campaign in very short. The main motto of this campaign is the woman empowerment, as this is very important in our social life. Today, around us, we could see the people who have the mentality of segregation between the male child and the female child. Why does this occur? Have you ever thought about this? So, today, I am going to raise few questions in front of you all. All these questions are related to the woman empowerment. So, my first question is, what does case Y stands for? So, let me answer to this question. Case Y stands for Kishori Shakti Yojana. My second question is, who initiated this scheme? This scheme was initiated by our state government. My third question is, when does this scheme came into effect? This scheme came into effect in 2000. My fourth question is, what is the main motto of this scheme? The main motto of this scene is to educate the girl about the importance of health. This is just for the girls between 11 years to 18 years. My last question is, what are the benefits that can be enjoyed by the women and the girls according to this scene? So, this scene allows various opportunities to the women as well as to the girls. Women can take their initiative to become a productive member of the society. And the girl can grab all the good opportunities. It can be in terms of health, education, or nutrition, etc. So at last, by finishing my words, I would like to suggest all the girls as well as to the women to enjoy all the seams and to grab the opportunities which are provided by the various seams. And especially those seams which are just for the women. Never miss such kind of chances and grab these. Thank you and have a nice day. Nari Shakti hai, Samman hai, Gaurav hai, Abhiman hai. Nari nahi raja, ye vidhan hai. Mein Natmastak, Nari ko pranam hai. Suprabhat, mein Mount Touch School Dora, Ayujit, Balika Shusakti Karan ke liye, लिट्रा शक्ति के अंतर्गत एक हिस्सा हूँ। मैं शिवाली कुमारी कक्षा 8 और की छात्रा हूँ। मैं खुद भी एक लड़की हूँ और मुझे एक गर्व महसूस होता है कि मैं एक लड़की होते हुए दूसरी लड़कियों की मदद कर पा रही हूँ जो अपने अधिकारों से वंचित हैं। पुराने समय से देखा गया है कि भारत में नारियों को कहा जाता है 
यस्य पूजयन्तु नारयस्तु तत्र नमन्तु देवता अर्थात जहां नारी का सम्मान हो वही देवता का वास है आखिर जब हम देवताओं का पूजा करते हैं जब हम उस देवी शक्ति को शक्ति का रूप मानते हैं जब हम उनकी पूजा करते हैं तो आखिर हम क्यों भूल जाते हैं कि जो नारियां हमारे समाज में रह रही हैं वो भी तो देवी का रूप ही है क्यों हम उनके साथ सही से व्यवहार नहीं करते क्यों हम उन्हें उनके अधिकारों से वंचित कर देते हैं क्या हमें इस बात का हक है कि हम ऐसा करें जब हम उस देवी को देवी मानते हैं तो आखिर क्यों हम उन नारियों को जो हमारे समाज में रहती हैं उन्हें उनका रूप नहीं मान रूप नहीं मानते हैं आए दिन हमें काफी सारे किस्से सुनाई देते हैं जिसमें शोषण गौण हत्या काफी जैसे अलग अलग कार्य होते हैं इस बात में सुधार लाने के लिए भारतीय सरकार ने और राज्य सरकार ने काफी सारी ऐसी योजनाएं निकाली हैं, जिसमें से बेटी बचाओ बेटी पढ़ाओ के अंदर गत एक योजना भी है जो है सुकन्या समृद्धि योजना ये काफी ही महत्वपूर्ण योजना है जो बेटी बचाओ बेटी पढ़ाओ के अंतर्गत ही निकाला गया है यह 25 जनवरी 2015 को निकाला गया था इस योजना की शुरुआत इस योजना की शुरुआत हमारे देश की प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने 25 जनवरी 2015 को किया था इस योजना के अंतर्गत किसी भी लड़की बच्चे के माँ बाप अपने 10 साल से छोटे बच्चे की खाता खुलवा सकते हैं और इस इस योजना के अंतर्गत माता पिता को अपनी बेटी के लिए बैंक में एक खाता खुलवाना है जिसमें उन्हें कम से कम दो सौ हर एक साल डालना होता है ज्यादा से ज्यादा वह डेढ़ लाख डाल सकते हैं पहले यह राशि एक हजार थी मगर अब ये कम होकर के दो सौ पचास रूपए हो चुकी है ये आपको कम से कम पंद्रह साल तक करना है और फिर आपको छह साल तक रुकना है और जब इक्कीस साल पूरा हो जाता है तो फिर आपको भारतीय सरकार वह पैसे वापस करती है और इन पैसों की मदद से आप अपनी बेटी का विवाह करवा सकते हैं या फिर आप अपनी बेटी को आगे पढ़ाई के लिए बढ़ावा दे सकते हैं इसके काफी सारे फायदे हैं पहली बात तो ये है कि यह योजना ने इस योजना ने काफी सुधार लाया है ग्रौन हत्या काफी कम हो चुकी है मगर फिर भी यह खत्म नहीं हुई है दूसरी बात यह है दूसरा फायदा जो है वह काफी महत्वपूर्ण है क्योंकि यह एक बेटी को समाज के अंतर्गत सामाजिक स्तर पर अर्थात आर्थिक स्तर पर भी काफी मजबूत और आत्मनिर्भर बनाता है तीसरा फायदा यह है कि इसमें आपको काफी कम राशि डालकर अपने खाता को चालू करना होता है जो कि कम से कम दो सौ पचास रुपए है जो कि काफी कम राशि है चौथा फायदा यह है कि आपको इसमें कर्ज में भी काफी मदद मिलती है जिसे हम लोग टैक्स कहते हैं आपको काफी सारे कर से वंचित कर दिया जाता है जो आपको नहीं भरना होता है यह भी इसके कुछ कुछ फायदे हैं हमारे स्कूल माउंट उठल जी स्कूल में भी लड़कियों को बढ़ावा देने के लिए उनकी पढ़ाई को बढ़ावा देने के लिए कुछ नियम भी निकाले गए हैं जैसे कि जिस माता पिता की बस केवल एक ही बेटी है उसे काफी फायदे मिलते हैं काफी सारी सुविधाएं उसे प्राप्त होती है जैसे की उसे नामांकन में काफी कम राशि देनी पड़ती है ऐसे कुछ कुछ फायदे हमारे स्कूल ने भी बेटियों को दिया है ताकि उस उनके शिक्षा को बढ़ावा दिया जा सके अंत में मैं यही कहना चाहूंगी कि बेटी बचाओ बेटी पढ़ाओ क्योंकि बेटी ही इस देश की भविष्य है धन्यवाद Class 9th, studying in Mount Itrazi School, Bar, and today I am here to introduce a very wonderful campaign that is the Nitra Shakti, which is an initiative taken to educate and save the girl child. As we know, in our country, India, discrimination against girl has been continuing through ages and ages, and till today, girls are considered as a burden to the society, while boys are privileged. girls are restricted to their confined homes 
and they are provided with very little or no opportunity for growing and learning until today activities like female infanticide are continuing which is a matter of shame for us as per the 2011 census there are only 918 girls for every thousand boys now a question arises in our mind that how we could achieve the true empowerment of women so in order to achieve the true empowerment of women it is very much necessary to change the mindset of people that girls are not a liability and now the question comes that how this will happen so for this to happen education is very important and it would go a long way in empowering women more and more girls should be sent to school and should be provided with quality and holistic education because educated women they can make their decisions in life which will be good for them also we have seen that in a society where girls are educated there will be less chances of child marriage and also less poverty rates therefore government and other educational institutions are focusing so that they can increase the awareness for educating the girl child like the cbsc uran scheme uran is a scheme which is launched under cbsc under the ministry of human resource development this mainly focuses on the low enrollment of girls in prestigious engineering institutions and also the gap between schooling and engineering college entrance examination here what happens is that they put a special emphasis on those girls who belong from economically disadvantaged part of the society it includes a lot of services like doubt clearing services helpline services free courses and also online video courses and then also it includes opportunities for peer education and many more and also in our school that is mount ritrazi school bar they have started an initiative by pro uh, by providing admission to the single girl child at a nominal fee and i hope that all the schools they should start taking such initiatives so that more there can be more and more enrollment of girls because once when this will happen more and more girls will be able to receive education and this is very much necessary because if there will be education of girls it would change the mindset of people that girls are not different from boys they are capable of doing things that boys can also do they are not different from boys so at last being a girl i would really like to thanks all my teachers who have provided me such a opportunity to raise my opinion on such a prestigious topic and i'm really thankful to all of them thank you